Hello, good evening. Hi, good morning, good evening for the rest. <laughs> good morning, Miss Carrero. <laughs> good evening. Um, <laughs> how are you guys? Good, how are you, teacher? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you. How are you guys? So far, so good. What about you? Mm -hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, ready, ready to start the weekend. <laughs> yeah, how about you guys? Are you guys ready to start the weekend? Yes, we are. Yeah? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Any any plans for the weekend? Any interesting plans? My wife and I we practice softball on weekends. Oh, how interesting. Wow, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, like, do you, like, are you on a team or something? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, my wife will play in a team in San yeah. Salvador. Oh. Also in, in Aguilares and then Soyapango. Wow, wow, amazing. She played in three different teams. Wow, that's you really keep busy on the weekends. Yeah, she's good at yeah. Playing. Wow, that's great. Excellent. That's really good. And the rest of you, do you have any plans for the weekend? In my case, I need to work tomorrow. Oh, so do I, you? Yeah, I don't have plans. Just oh. I gotta work, <laughs> mm. but but thanks God because I I have a job right now, you know. So exactly, yeah, yeah. So. You gotta look at the bright thing, the bright side of things. So yes, I don't have complaints. Because I don't have a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand. And I feel bored. Just move around the house. It's bored. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sometimes we 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 wish something, but when we have it, <laughs> we're like, oh, it's not exactly what I wanted, right? So yeah, sometimes yeah. we wish like, oh yeah, we don't. I I don't I don't want to work. I wish I didn't have to work, but uh, then when you're not working, you're like, oh, you know, you wish you were so. Yeah. So tell me, did you uh, what did you guys do yesterday? How was your your holiday yesterday? Well, I'm stay at home. I play with my cat. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I took, Yeah, I took, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay was it was it raining very hard yesterday no well here when i'm leaving no no okay good 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 all right yes and today um how do you say sprinkling oh okay it's um we say um it's drizzling ah uh, yeah drizzling drizzling yeah oh okay okay all right well that's not too bad. I mean, yeah. At least with a drizzle, you can always go out. Yeah. All right. Anybody else did something interesting on the weekend? Uh, sorry, on the on the holiday? Day of. Yeah? No, no. Nobody did anything no, interesting? I am the one who does it. <laughs> really? I want to. Why? Uh, yeah. Um, because, well, the commercial doesn't close for days of oh. You work at a shopping mall? Yeah, I, I, I am working at the They ask you, are you, are you there? 
No, so now, nah, okay, you have to work. Yeah. Ya, of course. ¿Estás muerto? No, entonces tienes que trabajar. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Ni modo. Yeah, unfortunately, some, some places are like that. Yeah. Okay, well, guys, uh, what I'm going to right now take attendance because there are more of us now. So um, let me take the attendance. Uh, hold on, give me a moment. Okay, so Andrea Geraldine Sanchez Recinos. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Um Angel Antonio Ramirez Rodriguez. And Angel Antonio Ramirez Rodríguez. Brandy Marilu eh, Pimentel. Kroll. Oh, what, what did you say? Kroll. Check. Check. Kroll check. Yes. Present. All right. Um, thank you. Eh, Edgar Abel Tejada Benitez. Present, Miss Guerrero. All right, thank you. Um, Edson Stephen, sorry, Edson Stanley Hernandez Labarenga. Good evening, Miss. I'm here. All right, wonderful. Eduardo Jose Melgar Melgar. Person, I'm here. Excellent, thank you. Um, is it possible to open your camera so we can see your, your face? Perfect, thank you. Okay. Um, Iliana Janet Alvarado Molina. Iliana Janet Alvarado Molina. Okay, Irma Raquel Garcia de Monterosa. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltran. Good evening, I'm here. All right. Hey. Joana Yesenia Garcia de Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Okay, Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. Nivia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. I'm here, Tisha. Thank you. Um, Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitán. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitán. Eh, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Saul Antonio Hernandez Torres. Saul Antonio Hernandez Torres. Um, Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. Um, 
Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alparo. Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. And, uh, hello? Present. Okay, wonderful. Okay, thank you. And Yancy Andrea Melendez Mayen. Yancy Andrea? Okay. All right, guys and girls, we're going to continue here. And uh, we're going to start with our class. Um, Teacher. Hi. I'm so sorry. Uh, Ami didn't uh, uh, mention. He mentioned you, but he you said your name, but you didn't say that. Oh, who is it? Yes, yes. Sorry. Uh, Angel Antonio Ramirez Rodriguez. Oh, okay. Maybe you hadn't connected when I said your name yes, because you're at yes, the beginning. Yes. Mm, yes, okay. Yes. All right. Thank you, Angel. Okay, Thank perfect. You. Let's uh, start then um, with our class. Please tell me if you are able to see my screen. Yes, teacher, okay. I see. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, wonderful. Yes, Excellent. Okay, so here we have some vocabulary related to behaviors. So let's start looking at the first one. Ambitious. When are, so do we understand the word ambitious? No. Ambicioso. Ambicioso. Exactly. Ambicioso. Argumentative. Argumentative. Somebody who loves to argue something. <laughs> exactly. Somebody who read the say it's blue. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Somebody who likes to argue. In other words, they like to have verbal fights. Okay, so um, yeah, they say one thing and they you say one thing and they always find a way of, of fighting with you. Okay. All right, carefree. Do we understand the word carefree? Somebody who doesn't care nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so somebody who is like, yeah, they don't have, they don't care very much. They're like, it's, they're very easygoing. They don't really care about things too much. Okay. Uh, conscientious. Do we understand the word conscientious? Give me an example, please. Um, conscientious. Well, bas basically, a conscientious person is somebody who um, is very thoughtful. Um, they're always thinking about um, how their actions are going to affect other people. And um, they're very careful not to be um, doing like For example, if you throw garbage, this person tried to say, I have to pick up this garbage mm -hmm. and I have to put it. Okay, I got it. Yeah, exactly. So basically, they're very aware of how their actions affect other people and other things, right? So mm -hmm. that's conscientious. Is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay. Good. Naive. Naive. Maybe general. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, naive is somebody that is very uh, innocent. 
yeah so somebody who does who, yeah mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. good pragmatic you understand the word pragmatic no even in spanish i don't know <laughs> okay anybody know the word pragmatic No, could, could you give me an example? N nobody knows the word pragmatic? It's it's very similar know. to Spanish. Maybe I, I know it's, it's like uh, a pragmatic. pragmatic. It's a pragmatic. In uh -huh. Spanish, but how to use it. But who is a pragmatic? Pragmatic. How is that so, somebody who is pragmatic? So pragmatic um, is somebody who is practical, very ah, real, like realistic. Um, the actions. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of. It's somebody who's like a very down to earth and not not um you know daydreaming somebody who's realistic okay does that make sense yeah oh, to prefer an action or practice correct can you repeat that question it could be how to perform an action or practice. So pragmatic is somebody, the way that they think it, and many times obviously behave, it, it means that they're very practical. Okay. Practical, realistic, um, down to earth, not like daydreaming up in the sky. No okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, they say dealing with things sensible and realistically in a way that is based on practical rather than the theoretical consideration. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So they're very realistic. They're not, they're not, um, like dreaming of things and thinking that everything is idealistic. Um, no, they're just they're they're very okay, very practical, realistic. Okay, so let's not let's not idealize things. It is what it is. Okay. All right. Next, rebellious. We understand the word rebellious? Yeah. Something Rebelde. <laughs> Present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> rebellious is somebody that goes against what um Everybody what are the rebellious. norms. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, everybody at some point is rebellious, right? Some more than others, but um, uh, but yeah, rebellious is like going against the norms. So whatever the norms that are established, you go against them. You go in the opposite direction. Okay, sensible. Somebody who cries for everything. Oh, I will be. be <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Yeah, okay. kind of about it. Yeah. Okay. So this is a very good word. I love this word because it, this word tends to be confused with um, the word sensitive. Okay. So it, sensitive is one word, and sensible is another word. 
Okay, so what you guys ha have been describing is somebody that is sensitive. Okay, but we are not talking about someone who's sensitive. We want to talk about somebody who's sensible. So do you have any idea what is sensible? Sensible. Hmm? Sensible. Yeah. So, yeah, sensible is somebody that thinks with their head and not with their heart. Oh. Yeah, so sens sensible is somebody who's always thinking of what, yeah, what's best, um, but thinking, actually thinking with their head. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah? Yeah, I was confused with the second. Yeah, exactly. So actually, these two are, are opposites. Sensible and yeah. sensitive are kind of opposites because sensible a sensible person is somebody who concentrates on their on their thinking, uh, whereas somebody that's sensitive is thing is concentrating on what they're feeling. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, I was confused too. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, okay, good. All right. Uh, and then finally, we have sophisticated. Sophisticated. Do we understand the word sophisticated? Yeah, I understand. I think <laughs> sophisticated. I think it would be. Yeah. Somebody yeah. streets. Yeah, sophisticated, elegant. Um, fancy, that's sophisticated. Okay. All okay. right. So the question is, when do you think people start showing these characteristics? In their teens, in their 20s, in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 50s? Oh, no, sorry, in their 50s, no, in their 60s. So when do you think people start actually showing that they have these characteristics? I want you to discuss this with a partner. Okay. Do we understand the task? Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen and I'm going to share um, the, the screenshot with you. Wait just a second, guys. Sorry, teacher. Uh, Ileana texted you on a message here on Zoom. She is oh. having problems with the microphone. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Did you guys get the image in the WhatsApp group? Yeah. Yeah, it's on WhatsApp. Okay. So, um, so we have the table there, and what I need you guys to do is working with your group and um, discussing when do you think that normally people uh, show those characteristics, okay? So just making sure that um, I have people, everybody here. Um, Vanessa Esmeralda, are you available? Yeah, my, my camera it don't work. Okay, I understand. Okay, and Eduardo Jose, are you available? Yes, I'm available. All right, good. And Saul Antonio? 
present teacher. Are you available? Uh, no teacher. No, I'm so busy and I don't have in good internet connection. That's why I'm my camera is turned off. Okay. I see. Okay, but but can you can you uh, participate though? Oh yes. What okay. is the question? Yeah, yeah. Just um, in the activity that we're gonna do in the breakout rooms. Can you participate, Zoe? Uh, what was the activity? Because I lose the connection for a moment. Oh, okay. In the <laughs> yes. chat, in the chat, I have sent the the screenshot. Do you see it? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you see it? Yes. Okay. See. So, so we are discussing when you think that normally people show those characteristics. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And right. for the first, uh, what number? I'm sorry. What's the question? Uh, what kind of this this is special? Uh, so 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 what we're doing is we're going to be um we're going to be getting into groups and you're going mm -hmm. to be discussing when do you think people acquire or um show start showing those characteristics that you have there. Uh -huh, okay. If they do it in their in their teens, in their twenties, in their thirties, their forties, sixties. Yes, I understand, buddy. What what number of this? But for example, the first ambitious. I think the uh, people uh, more like most likely to be ambitious in their twenties on or in their thirties. Okay, so that's I what you're going to be. So that's what you're going to be discussing in the, in your groups right now. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. Perfect. Let's open the groups then. So Irma, Vanessa, are you able to get into the groups? Vanessa? In their in their things, yes. It's like uh, when you are argumentative in your maybe uh, can... in, in when you're a teenager, maybe you're more like rebellious because you don't want to follow instruction or your parents' advice. Or something like that. Uh, okay. And uh, number three, curfree? Curfree? Yeah. Maybe the... Um, in in the routine. Tier thing. No, no, so yeah. In their things, yes. Um, conscientious in city, city. Sorry. I think and the uh, conscientious and the uh, number in their city. 
in their theory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, the name, I think, in the in their things. Yeah, yeah. I I I think the in their things as well. Because you are so innocent person, like. Yes. <laughs> um, pragmatic. And forty, I think, in their forty. Pragmatic. Sorry, I I don't understand the the reality. What is pragmatic? Ah, uh, is a person that. Como práctico. Um, I understand the teacher to say is a person como práctico, pero no, no, no entendí muy bien el, el, el contexto de práctico. Can you illustrate us, teacher? So pragmatic is somebody who um, thinks in a practical way, not thinking of the idealistic way. They're very practical. The way that they think it's like very realistic, not thinking, mm. oh, you know, I'm going to, uh, you know, like not like thinking up in the sky, you know, daydreaming. They're just like, okay, this is the truth. This is the reality. Let's stick to this reality. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In, in, the, in the 40s. In the 40s. Is when you have experience in... You understand that sometimes the easiest things are, are better. Yes. <laughs> um, the rebe rebellious is in their things. In their things or in their 20s. Uh -huh. In their things. Okay. And sensible. I think in in, in their theory. Your turns. Yeah. Yeah. Sophistica. So. No. Yeah. Sophisticated. I guess. Uh, sophisticated. Sophist um i think can be seventeen yes yeah, in their seventeen in your sixteens sixteen yeah. um sixteen i see excuse me don't worry. <laughs> yes. And, and why in their sixties? Why in their in their sixties? Why the people are sophisticated in their sixties? Excuse me, I have a problem. Can you hear me? I have a problem with my microphone. Okay, don't, don't worry.
Okay. All right, guys, let's uh, share your ideas. So in your opinion, when does the person start being ambitious? Well, I think it's up to your life because sometimes when you're a teenager, you're thinking about you want to buy your couch, you want to buy something. But I think the rest of the people is on their 20s when they get a job, when they finish the high school or mm -hmm. university, they are thinking about how to grow up. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. You all agree? Yes, teacher, I, I have the I same. Agree, yes. At yes. the age of 20s. I agree. Yes, 20s. Okay. Argumentative. <laughs> Things you born. <laughs> Was you born? <laughs> If you're if you are a woman forever. Oh my. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So also no, you well, I think most when you're when you're teenager, when you're teen. Mm -hmm. That you will start with, you know, when you're uh, fifty years old, you start with it. But I think at the end is like uh, when you're when you are sixty. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I think when you're 60, anything that was a, a a very important characteristic of your personality, it starts to show more in your 60s. So if you, so argu argumentative, yeah, I think that definitely in the, in the teens, you are very argumentative, but um depends on your personality it may um yeah. fade away maybe when in your in your 30s or 40s when you start realizing what really is important and if however you continue being argumentative then in your 60s it's going to be worse mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah Okay, carefree. When do you start getting being carefree? In their teens. Really? Do you think teens are carefree? I guess because mm. uh, we don't have to nothing to do, nothing to worry about, and we go to school, we go back to home, and then, and. Uh, after that, we can go to play with friends and that's it. No. We don't have to, nothing to do like pay bills, work or something. Okay. Yes and no. Teacher, we yes, were I'm... discussing about that one. Mm -hmm. We were discussing about that one mm -hmm. because I thought that in your 60s, you could be a little bit care carefree because you stopped working. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that I think that's why you, you are not with that a lot of, that not in matters. Of, uh, responsibilities <laughs> that you have when you are not 60. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, when you are a teenager, you are a little bit carefree as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we were discussing right. about that one. But yeah, we choose the you. teenager. The, sorry, their teens. Yeah, but I have something different too because you're really not carefree when you're teenager because you have to be worried about uh, oh I have to I have to use I have to wear a, a you know a different brand of your club I have to wear this makeup I have to do this so I think when you're 60 you don't care if you use makeup if you use a a, a brand or you know it's, I think yes. yeah it yes. could, could, could be we on your when you're because... youth or when, or when you were 60, if the pain of what For you, example, you when you are to... teenager, you, you don't think about your responsibilities too much. Yeah. Yes, or yeah. maybe he has already 
retired. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think actually teenagers, I would say, are the le the least carefree people, because I think when you're a teenager, you worry so much about what other people think about you, and yeah. you, you know you 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 do things mostly, and you're very self conscious. You know, you're always like thinking, am I too much of this or am I too little of this? So you're worrying so much about how others are going to perceive you or who you are. But then like, it, you know, about appearances and things like that. But when you're in your 60s, 40s, well, even your 40s, but but when you're in your yeah. 60s, um, you're like, it doesn't matter. Life, like you're just... You, you care about just being happy. Um, you don't care about other people. You don't care what they think. You just want to be happy. Yeah. I don't know. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's my opinion, but I mean, yeah, there's no right. I say. If, if we're up to the... If you talk about money, maybe it could be when you're a teenager, you don't have, yeah, mm -hmm. the carefree. Yeah. But if you can talk about your, uh, your, how do you say, appearance? Appearance. Appearance, uh, well, it's not when you're youth because you have to take care. Uh, I don't know if you, you know, somebody who live in the United States, when they are teenager, if somebody wear like a cloth without brand, oh shit, oh, you you can uh you know nothing. <laughs> it's like if they say, oh no 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 no, this is a cheaper clothes, uh, blah blah blah. So they have to take care about the clothes, how to be a good brand. Mm -hmm. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Um, they are um yeah yeah so uh, teenagers care a lot about about many things okay even though they may not have much responsibilities that's a different thing though like not having much responsibility and caring about things is two different things okay so we have uh the next one conscientious Conscientious, conscientious. I think you started on your 20s, but you're really conscientious on your 30s. Okay. Do you agree? Um, I agree. I think uh, the 30 you start you know to make conscientious about the life you know get married have baby yeah have baby get married you know mm -hmm. because when you when you have 20 you know you're thinking you know is your your mind you know is is you between, is between you know uh teenagers between twenties, I don't know. Is but when you have a thirty, it's, it's different. So mm -hmm. you know, uh, you you like to stay in home at home. Uh, you like to stay with your with your family. I think so. So that's conscientious about about everything. You know. Mm -hmm. Can you pronounce that word, teacher, please? Yeah. Conscientious. 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 Thank yes. you. Conscientious. Conscientious. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's I know it's a long I word. I feel like a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah, it's I think conscientious. Four four Con syllables. Con she and shus. Four syllables. Con she con she and 
Yes. All right. Naive. When do you think you're naive? All your life, teacher. <laughs> it turns. In their thing. Yeah. In their teen. Most in your teens, right? Can I give um, you an example? All the life. Sorry? Can I give you an example <laughs> why? Okay. <laughs> sure. Edson, Edson, we're talking about it. Edson, help me, please. <laughs> All the life. <laughs> Could you give us an example why? Mm. <laughs> when when I call the 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 credit card, for example, uh, I I speaking with uh, Brandy the the topic. <laughs> uh, also, when I send a message uh, in the, for example, Facebook. Hi, uh, uh, I'm uh, uncle, uh, and sometimes it's false. It's a, uh, how do you say, when the, when the hackers, when the hackers, yeah. for example. Yeah, it's like a somebody when somebody is sending you a message on yes. your and you open this, mm -hmm. yeah, like a yes. like Edson said, like a, hey, I'm your your mom, I'm your aunt, and I have problem I here in mm -hmm. this airport, and my uh my bags or something is stuck in this place, but uh, by message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see yeah. what you're saying. Somebody tried to send me, ah, oh, can you send me money? I'm here in this. And I called my friend. I said, hey, what's wrong with you? Where are you? I'm here working. Ah, oh, somebody sent me your picture. Yes. And he this... told me uh, you are in the uh, airport and you need money. And... Yes, this problem is currently uh, occurring, actually. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter if you were a teenager or your 20s. Yes. Something like this could happen and you can call. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Good example. Okay. When do you become pragmatic? We don't use too much pragmatic in Spanish, for example. But I, uh, but I think is 40s. In your yeah, 40s? 40, 40, 40. I think 40, so. 40. Okay. But because yeah. you think you're yes. thinking better, you know. So I think so. Okay. All right. All right. What about rebellious? When you're good. Teenagers. <laughs> they're yeah. they're teens. Yeah, like definitely. at the school, it's not yeah, like experience. <laughs> and you're 62. <laughs> yeah. Everything is start and then everything finishes with the same. <laughs> yeah, it, oh, you're always, right. Always. Yeah. You're right. When, uh, when, for example, when my mother told me, look, don't, uh, don't do this and um, one always come out as rebellious. <laughs> Yeah, they always write. I remember. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, sensible. When do you become sensible? Well, uh, after 30s. <laughs> after we your 30s? Most. <laughs> so in uh, your yeah, 40s? In your 30s or your 40s? I'm I'm forties. In the forties, we mean one time a month after the first period. Okay. All 
or not <laughs> i don't know yeah sometimes <laughs> it's a case <laughs> okay all right sophisticated when are you becoming sophisticated in their 40s or 60s in 40s and 60s 30s 40 actually 30. or 30, 40 actually i think 40 i think 30 30 for women 30. 30. for women 30 so for men Forty. For me, for men, forty. I think. For men, forty. Okay. Yeah. Forty. All right. Fair enough. Okay, guys. Um. So. Um. All right. So that was that. Um. What we're gonna look at right now. Can I? Can you tell me, please, if you can see my screen? Yeah, we can see. Okay. So here is Maya Misery talking about her regrets. Okay. Do you understand uh, regrets? Do you understand this word, regrets? Yes. What does it mean, regrets? Yes. What does that mean? When you don't like something that have happened. Exactly. Yeah. So you think that something uh, could have been different in the past. Okay. And you say, yeah, so you don't like what, what happened or what didn't happen in the past. One of the two. Okay. So... Um, if you have regret about the past, it means that you want to change the past. Whether it's to change something that happened or change something that didn't happen. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. I need a volunteer to help me read the first regret that she has. Maybe yeah. Okay, go ahead, Joanna. Oh, okay, teacher. Or, uh, who if, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. If I listened to my mother, I would have learned to play a musical instrument. Good, excellent. So this means that in reality, uh, Maya Misery did not, did not listen to her mother in the past. And she wishes that she had listened to her so she um that she could know how to play um a musical instrument today okay good next who can help me read the second me teacher all right thank you Edson okay uh, I shall have studied studied something more practical when I was a uh, in college good thank you so it means that maya studied something in college but it was not practical and she wished she could have changed that so that today she would know something that is more practical okay next can someone read the next one for me okay i had, if i hadn't been so responsible i could have made better grades Okay, good. So it means that in the past, um, she was irresponsible and she didn't have very good grades. And she wishes that she could have been more responsible. And that way she could have better grades in the past. Okay, next, who can read for me? Okay, Nidia. Okay. If I did be more ambitious in college, I could have learned to speak another language. Okay, very good. Thank you. So it means that when Maya was in college, she was not ambitious. And 
That's why she didn't learn another language, but she wishes that she that she could have learned another language in in college. Okay, next one. Uh, Edgar, do you want to help us with the next one? Okay, thank you. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Very good, thank you. So it means that um, in college, Maya chose a major, but she took a long time to, to choose that major. And she wishes that it, she could have done things differently and chosen a major quickly. All right, and the last one, who wants to read this, the last one for me? Me teacher. If I, okay. Okay, okay. Go, Who has it read? Go, Joanna. Oh. Okay, thank you. If I had not wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. Thank you. If I hadn't wasted, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year. So it means that last year she wasted a lot of money. Okay. And because she wasted a lot of money, she doesn't have an, her own apartment now. So she wishes that she didn't uh, waste so much money. And that way, if she had done something differently in the past, she would have her own apartment now. All right? Yeah. So any questions? Yeah. Could, could, could you help me if I had to pronounce yes? I could. I should. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Absolutely. So yes, I want to, I want to learn really how to open the mouth or how to really pronounce. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we have wood. Good. Uh, wood. Well, I have. I have um, the problem with the wood, como madera, y good with these words. Like I feel like mm -hmm. I pronounce. Of the same okay so a uh, this is wood wood like a large ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. so look at my lips ooh, 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 ooh. and remember the l is silent right we do not pronounce the l so it's yeah. wood wood what are, what about madera good wood Wood. Notice my, my like lips. It's like a shorter than, than wood. It's shorter. Yes, it's definitely shorter. And my, oh, okay. uh, notice um the way my lips, the my lips are making like a, like a, almost like a kissing kind of, um so it's woo, woo, woo. wood. Okay. And the other one is wood. Uh, 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 wood. Like you smile. Mm -hmm, like okay. you're smiling. Exactly. And this okay. one is could, 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 uh, 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 could. How to delete the L if you and want you have, to say yes, that. Yes, exactly. Always delete that L. The L is not pronounced in would, could, or should. No, pronounce the L. It says could, would, should. They all have the same sound, so your 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 mouth should end in the same position. Okay. Couldn't. Could, negative. Couldn't. Couldn't. Uh, uh, couldn't. 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 Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't. Yeah. Wouldn't. Okay. Wouldn't. Is that right? Okay, guys and girls, so that is going to be all for today. Um, so uh we're going to we're going to talk a little bit about how to um create the this um this uh, this structure on Monday. Okay, so I will see you guys again on Monday. All right. Okay, Any questions? Teacher.
Okay. Could could you could you share the uh this PDF? Um sure. Do you guys don't have it? Mm, no, I don't have it's it's in the it's it's the manual. We, we, we have the manual, okay. yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's a, could, it's... Could, could you share here on a WhatsApp group? Um you mean the screenshot? No, all the the document, the PDF. Yeah, it's find it. yeah. You can find it in the, in the yeah, platform. It's in, so it's in the platform, Brandy. In so when you are in the platform, there is a part where it says, um, well, it's there's a tab. The last tab says um, student manual. It's the okay. last tab. Okay, and then you can you can um download it anywhere you can download it in your in your computer in your cell phone your tablet whatever you you yeah. use okay um if you don't if you don't see it let me know and i will send you a picture of where you can download it so that because that way you can this is something you have to download like in every, like every class right so um yeah so you can you can do it in the future as well Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So that's going to be all for today. And I will see you on Monday. I have, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Take Thank care. You, Thank, Thank you. you. you too. Bye. Bye. Have a good you. day and night, night for everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.